going to talk through it to start. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to hear me because my washing machine is on and it is loud. But basically, these are the things I'm going to be using. So I'm using Magpies Cotton Candy as my base colour. I'm going to use this here, um, this little flower on this plate, which is CJS65. I am using this. This is what I am testing out today. It is a foil, black foil stamping gel from Moira. I am very, very excited to try it. And then I'm going to be using Magpies Georgie Ray for the foil. I've used this a little bit already, but... I'm going with it so i'm going to be using my clear jelly stamper stamper um it's the one with the diamonds on the bottom i'm not sure how many different ones you can get so i've got my colors here i'm just going to do another half of the pink i might end up having to just voice over this video if the washing machine in the background ends up too loud but that's fine, it doesn't make a difference, just means that it might be up a bit later than I expected because I've got to get around to voiceovering it as well. So I'm just going to pop that into my lamp for 60 seconds and then I'll be back. Okay, so when that comes out of the lamp, I'm going to be putting on Blue Skies Velvet Top Coat and after I've done that, we'll also give it a quick buff as well just to make sure that it really is not tacky um for my stamper for my stamping gel to actually work properly so like i said i'm going to be using this one here i just thought that'd be the easiest to use um just because it it's quite thick so i think you'll be able to see it better so we'll use that with this i've got a born pretty scraper you can use any scraper you've got i've got multiple different ones and they all work pretty much the exact same obviously they come in different shapes and sizes so i'll just show you a couple of different ones so i've got two of the born pretty ones i've got okay so i use a mixture of scrapers so i've got my moira scraper which is really one of my favorites actually please just ignore the state of my nails i've picked all my foil off i need to redo them i've got a beauty one which was in a set that i got of things from ebay i think it was years ago and then I've got my clear jelly stamper one as well. This one's quite nice because it's really, really solid. But I'm going to use this one just for today. So once I've done that, I'm going to apply my velvet top coat to these nails because we want to make sure that the surface is well and truly smooth and matte because the last thing you want to do is have a shiny surface because if you stamp... Well, for starters, stamping onto a shiny surface is a little bit more difficult anyway. Um, and then secondly, you don't want all of your surface to be really sticky because if it is, it means you're going to be... Sorry, I just realised I'm out of shot almost. Um, it means that your foil will not just stick to where you put your stamping foil gel. It will just stick everywhere and then you might as well have not bothered <laughs> so there we go i'm going to pop this into the lamp okay so that's gone in i'm just going to move over a little bit that's gone in for 60 seconds so like i said i'm going to be using this flower one just because i think it will show up while on camera just because it's a bit thicker so you'll be able to see it didn't want anything too thin for you to not see it properly so i'm just going to be applying this like you would a normal stamping polish so I'll be applying it at the top, scraping it down, picking it up with my stamper, getting off any excess and then popping it onto the nail. So it's said that you cure it for 60 seconds. So I'm going to do that. And then on the one that is half and half, I will just be applying it to the pink side of the nail. And then the other half, I will be painting white afterwards. And then we can go ahead and just put some glitter down the middle or something like that. Okay, so that's just come out. So I'm just going to use one of my Divine Nails and Beauty Cleanser Wipes. Just take off the tacky layer of that velvet top coat that I've just used. Make sure that it's nice and matte. And the foil is hopefully only going to stick to where I actually want it. Fingers crossed. So before I get started, I am just going to very gently, she says, try and get that stick on. I'm just going to very gently give it a buff. This stand is not very good because I've kind of ruined it with having blue tack in it and stuff like that. So the tips don't stick in it very well um, anymore, which is quite frustrating, but it's one of those things. I will get some more of these stands from Magpie when they are back in stock. But 
I'm not in a hurry, so it's fine. So when I've done that, I've just literally buffed over the top. I'm just going to give them another wipe to make sure there's no dust on there. And then before I get started, I'm going to get an nail art brush out, ready to have a clean up on that one that's half and half. So I've been really enjoying my set that I got from Amazon. Um, these ones, they were in a previous video. I've been really enjoying using them. So I'm going to use, I've got here just a round top one because on this one I'm going to have to remove some of it from this side so I can paint over it in white because the stamping gel that I've got is black. I'm just going to get my light a bit further over so we've got a bit more brightness. So I'm going to go straight in, see how it goes. So my plate is clean, I've done that already. And then I'm just going to go over the top with the gel. Obviously, I don't know how this is going to go because it's new to me. So if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I'm just going to pick that up. Get off any excess. It's not picked up perfectly, but it's not awful. So I can cope with it. And I've just popped that onto the nail. I'm just going to use my lint roller to clean off my stamper. Make sure there's no excess on there. And then I'm just going to use a bit of acetone to clean the plate. And I'm going to put a couple, a couple of flowers on this. So the good thing about the stamping gel, obviously, is that it's not going to dry as you're working. So you do have a lot more time to play with it. So if you're quite new to stamping, I'd say that it's probably a good shout, really. Because um, you're not going to be in a massive rush to have to do it really quick and stuff. So that's always good. Okay, and then I'm going to do another, probably two, one here and then one up there. So I've got the black one, but I think there is different colours. I'm not really sure um, really what the point of having multiple colours is. I'm sure there is one and I am just missing it, but I suppose it, it's what coloured like foils you're going to be using and stuff like that. The foils that I'm using are actually colours themselves. Um, so they'll go over the top of any colour anyway, but if you're using a foil that's say like iridescent or something like that Then you're obviously then going to want to use the colour that you want it underneath. So I suppose that's why Anyway rambling on just gonna put one more I've just applied way too much to that one, but never mind So obviously it is a little bit different consistency to a normal polish that you'd normally use for stamping because it isn't gonna set so it does work slightly different, but yeah, I like it. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then I am going to do this half and half nail. I don't know where that little black bit's come from. It's a bit annoying. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same process again. But this time I'm not covering the whole nail in the flowers. It will literally just be that white side. Uh, the pink side, sorry. And then the other side I am going to paint white. And then I'll do some glitter down the middle. So I'm not too bothered if the design does go over the middle a little bit. Because I am going to be covering it up anyway. I'm just going to get rid of the majority if there's a lot that ends up on this side. Especially because this foil gel is black. And I am going to be painting the nail white. I did question painting it black, but then I thought, no, it's a bit too much because it is pink. And I'd like to keep it nice and light. So I'm just going to put that one there. And then I'm going to attempt. I'm going to do this before I do the rest of it, just in case it doesn't work out as well as I'd hoped. And then I'm just going to go down that bit. And just remove... I'm just making sure my brush is clean as well. I just realised I've got a bit of yellow on this brush, which is quite frustrating, but never mind, the white will cover it, so it's fine. So I'm just removing that excess. Okay, so like I said, I'm not too worried about it because I am going to be doing the glitter down the middle, so it's not going to make a massive difference. I'm really, really sorry about the uh, washing machine. Obviously, when I listen to it back, if it is too loud, I won't be doing I won't be leaving it in any way, I'll just be voiceover in some areas. So if some of it sounds a bit different to others, it'll probably be because I ended up having to voice over some areas and not others. So I'm just going to use that little bit that's left over from that for the bottom because I don't need too much. So that's how I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to pop that in the lamp now for 60 seconds. 
Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning, I am using Georgie Ray. You don't need to wipe the back of Magpie foils. They work absolutely amazing, so don't worry about that. Okay, so I just took that out of the lamp. It's been in there for 60 seconds. I'm just going to pop this on now. I think you do a very good job of that. It's really difficult to work on these um, tips, actually. Oh, wow. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Oh, I'm so excited to use this on my lovely clients. They're going to love it. I just know it. Anyway, get that back up. It's really, really tricky to do things like this on a tip. Just because they don't want to stay where they are. I don't know if everyone else has this problem or whether it's just me, but they are very frustrating. So I'm just making sure to obviously use a fresh bit of foil every time. Make sure that it covers. So you can't really see it, but I'll move it in the light so you can. To focus on the flowers. So you can see there that they are all purple foil, which is amazing. And obviously if you move it in the light, it'll make it more obvious for the bits that haven't picked up. And then you can just go in and sort those out. But overall, I am really happy with this. Really, really happy actually. I really like the effect it gives. So anyway, I'm going to finish off this now. So I'm going to get white. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this half white. Not worried too much about my, like, getting a perfect straight line or anything because I will be, as I said before, adding some glitter, so it's fine. And then I'm going to do a full foil nail just because I've had a lot of people say that they need help with full foils. So I just thought I might as well kill two, two birds with one stone. We'll do a full foil nail as well. So I'm going to pop this into the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so I finished doing my two coats of colour on both of these. So the white is now complete. So to do this full coverage foil, I am going to be using Full Foiled from Magpie, which is their new full coverage foil adhesive gel. So I'm going to pop a layer over this white nail. slight discoloration you just saw was because I did a full set of foil um, a couple of days ago with this with Tickety Boo a really dark blue colour from Magpie and I was silly and forgot to clean my brush after using it <laughs> so that's that bit but obviously as you can see it's off now so I'm just making sure I don't have like a real excessive amount on there because it's not necessary Okay, so once I've done that, I've painted the whole nail. I'm then just going to pop this into the lamp. So I am using the Magpie lamp, and I've just put that in there for 60 seconds. I haven't used it with any other lamp yet, so I can't comment on that just yet, but I will give it a go with my Sun UV lamp as well and let everybody know. So I'm just using this glass palette. I got this from the Naughty Nail Fairy. And I'm just going to pop because I'm going to be using Madonna. Instead of having a glitter down the middle of that nail, I'm going to use Madonna because if you look at it compared to the foil, it's pretty much identical in colour. So that's really helpful. So I'm going to get a little bit of Give Me Strength in clear. If I can find it. There we go. So I'm just going to mix a little bit on my palette. Don't need an excessive amount because I am only doing a line down the middle. So I've just put a little bit on there. I didn't need that much either, but there you go. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put a little bit of Madonna. Look how much you get in here. That is insane. So I just use an old um, cuticle tool that I don't use anymore. Just pop that in. And then just mix it up to create a gel. I'm really sorry about the noise. <laughs> it was making a horrible shrieking noise for a second there. And it was not nice. This is a glass palette, which is why I made that awful noise. And then just mix it up as best you can. And there we go. That's created our really, like, a really, really fine glitter. Okay, I'm going to stop because that noise is going through me. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So 
so that's ready for when I need it. So with the full foiled, I've just cured that for 60 seconds. I'm now just going to place my foil over the top. And the way that I do it is I just smooth out the middle first just to get that nice. It is difficult. It's more difficult to do it on a practice tip just because obviously you can't put enough pressure on really without it popping off all over the place. You have to be really careful. But I promise you it is much easier with a real person's <laughs> nail. So you can usually tell by looking at it where it's stuck and where it isn't. So just make sure. You can use your silicone tool or anything like that as well. I tend to just rub it in with my finger because it's just the quickest, easiest way. And then before taking it all off, don't just go in all guns blazing and just rip it off and hope for the best. If you just have a look every time, if you just lift it up, peel it back really slowly. I'm trying to see so you can see what I can see. And you should hopefully be able to see if you do it slow enough where is stuck and where hasn't this has not gone very well at all <laughs> this is the problem with practice tips is obviously you can't get them far enough like it's difficult to get the placement right in the lamp and things like that but it's irrelevant anyway i'm just showing you how you do it um and then just peel it off really slowly keep checking where you need it to stick and yeah Obviously, natural nails would be a lot easier. This part of the nail won't have got in the lamp far enough, so it won't have cured properly. But you can see the kind of idea and how you'd go about it, um, about getting a full coverage. So I'm just going to go in and just fill in all those gaps. I'm just not able to put on enough pressure. That's the problem. Because you do need to put your elbow into it and get it pressed down. But unfortunately... I can't do that with a false nail. It's a lot easier with a person's hand, so just bear that in mind. But it is very, very easy to use. I am very impressed. I have got a picture on my Instagram from last week. Well, it's Sunday today, but I don't think this will be up today. But yeah, from very recently, there is a picture on my Instagram of a full set of foil nails. And that was done with this, and it went brilliantly. Um, obviously because that was on a real person it was a lot easier but yeah it's absolutely amazing stuff I definitely recommend it if you're struggling with your full foiled application so definitely grab this from Magpie it is well worth the pennies so when I'm finished messing about and just creating a mess <laughs> I'm happy with that because I'm not too bothered about the full coverage anyway it wasn't really part of my plan for this set I just did it just for the sake of people asking me but yeah so that's the technique anyway to peel it off really slowly when you feel like you've put enough pressure all over and then if you haven't and there is a little bit that's not fully took and it's a bit iffy you can easily just put it back down rub it on a little more give it a bit of more of a push around so obviously because this is a one coloured foil it doesn't really matter that I've had to mess about and stuff like that so it look it still looks really good so i don't really not really worried but yeah i don't really have any full coverage foil kind of things like actual design foils as such so oh i have now yeah because i've got the new magpie ones but never mind so for this one on the end this side i'm just gonna get my madonna I'm going to use my magpie striper so I'm just going to make sure that the whole brush is covered and then I'm going to do I think I'm going to do quite a thick line so choosing this brush probably wasn't the best idea but never mind it is so easy to use chromes this way I absolutely love them so I always do mine on the side but the problem is then is obviously I can't I don't know whether it's central so I'm just kind of hoping for the best but because I was planning on doing quite a wide line anyway it doesn't really matter because I can easily even it out when I make the line a bit thicker I just need to get that initial first line down so there we go that's that so now I've done the first line I am going to switch brushes to one slightly thicker so I'm going to use if I can find it my glitter bells striper brush which is a bit ruined now actually but we'll see how it holds up it's absolutely ruined <laughs> it's always easier when that initial line is already there though to just go straight in 
and get it straight on. Obviously, if it was a client, I'd put a lot more effort into doing a good job, but it's fake. It's all a fake nail, so it doesn't really matter, but, you know, just for the sake of the video. So, yeah, this is all I'm doing now. This is the end of it, so all I need to do after this is just simply top coat. So I hope this was a little bit useful to you as a video. Um, if it wasn't, I'm very sorry, but, you know... Very sorry that I have been a bit absent over the past week. I am not giving up on YouTube at all. I am still planning on being very up to date with it and regularly uploading stuff like that. I have all like the intention of staying with it and everything. Um, it was just that obviously because it was the first week back, it was absolutely mental. <laughs> really, really busy. So that was the only reason for that. I will be back as normal as of now because now i've got that mad rush out the way it is going to be a lot easier i'm just going to go into those little areas that the foil didn't catch because i um there we go because this is actually really not that different to the foil so the really obvious places i'm just going to pop a little bit of madonna just to fill it in just a little bit not that you really need to because it looks quite nice anyway. I don't think it, it really needs it that much, but just for the sake of it. I'm filling in some gaps. So anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'll top coat and I'll show you how they look at the end. Okay, apologies for such a long video, but this is the final outcome. I'm actually really happy. I ended up covering this one actually um, with that leftover Madonna that I had on my palette. So I've just covered that foil with that just because I love Madonna and I didn't want to waste the chrome. But yeah, really, really happy with how it turned out. Overall, I'm very happy with the Moira stamping gel. Um, so if anyone's interested in buying it, definitely head over to Moira and grab that. I will link it in the description box. I hope everyone's okay. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.